Welcome to Homestyle Cookery. I'm your host, Maddie Matheson, and today we really kind of aren't cooking fucking nothing. We're making the best submarine sandwich ever. The sub, the hoagie, the grinder, all of the names. Is it a sandwich? A submarine! This is the best one ever, okay? So in chapter seven, page 222 in Homestyle Cookery, the greatest home cooking book of all time, I write, I'm not trying to completely shit on Toronto. Oh, but holy cow, they can't make a sub. It's so wild that you cannot get just a normal submarine sandwich. That's fire in the largest city in Canada. Until we opened Baker Pizza, shout out to me. When we opened Maker Pizza, all I wanted to do was make a perfect sub. A simple, simple sub. But there's a few things, you know? Literally anywhere in New York City, you can get a bodega sandwich. You walk into a bodega, you get a sandwich. It's better than anything you can get anywhere in Canada. It's remarkable. We called it the Bodega at Maker as an ode to great establishments in New York City. This is just a perfect assorted sub. Couple of cold cuts, couple of cheeses. Well, actually only one cheese. Why does it say couple cheeses? That's a misprint. We'll take note of that. Shaved onions, icebergs, or peppers, oils, and vinegars, the way it should be, the way it should stay. Please, any Canadians reading this, please make this so you know what you've been raised on is not the reality, it's the problem. Take the blue pill and escape the submarine sandwich matrix. Awake and rise. My sweet little freaks, is what I wrote about a submarine sandwich. I'm gonna make you the greatest submarine sandwich you've ever had in your life. I'm sure a lot of Americans are watching this and being like, holy fuck. Way to go, Maddie! Guess what? There's an entire country and most of the world that don't understand the importance of a great sandwich and the, and, and the importance of, of vinegar, oil, and, and, and rich little meats. Today, we're gonna show you how to friggin' do this. The first thing we do is we're gonna slice our bun. We're gonna slice it open. Not all the way. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna pull back a bunch of this meat. We're gonna make a little bit of a ditch. A little bread ditch right here. That's the good stuff. See how fast we're moving? See how fast we're moving? Layer your meats. You got your capicola, and you can push those in. We're gonna go capicola, capicola, capicola. I, I think that you can put too much meat on a sandwich. Now we got our mortadella. Just put it in. Yes, MacArthur? Yeah. Yes, of course. Get off of me. We're gonna take some mozzarella. We put the mozzarella in. We push it in. I like to push it in too. Um, I'm gonna put vegetables in it. I'm about to put vegetables in it. You're right. So we take an iceberg lettuce. Get yourself a giant cleaver. And we're gonna cut this in half, okay? Do you wanna eat it? Okay. So the thinner the iceberg lettuce, the better. We got iceberg lettuce. We're gonna take some jalapenos. We're gonna take some roasted red peppers. Now we're gonna do an onion, as thin as possible as well. This is the good stuff. We got some banana hot banana peppers. The banana peppers are kind of more sweet and less like actually spicy. Where are you gonna put it now? Well, we're gonna give a pinch. Can I help you? Yeah, you do a pinch of this. This is dried basil. You put a pinch in. Yeah! And then a pinch of little oregano. Yeah, buddy. And then here we got some garlic powder. Yeah. Whoa, you want another one? What the heck? What the heck, eh, Mac? Whoa, okay. Okay, that's enough garlic powder. Get yourself some really good olive oil. There we go, just a little bit. Hold on. You can do the vinegar. I'm gonna put my fingers over top of it and you pour. Okay. I think it's about three quarters vinegar, one quarter oil. That's what we're looking for. Ooh. Now, we have our beautiful salad. This is the best. Okay, and that's that. Here, you gotta wrap it up. You know, you gotta wrap it up, okay? You wanna make a diamond, two diamonds, okay? And you wanna take it tight, and then you're gonna fold in the sides, fold in the sides, and then you just keep rolling. Oh, yeah! 
Then you usually have tape. So this is the best way to cut it. Look at that. Now let's eat it, okay? Oh, Bahama Mama. Oh, one more. Oh, uh -oh. How can you call yourself a city if you can't get a sandwich like this in it? It's like, come on. This is the sub. It's just, it is the all time working class meal. You get a sub, a bag of chips, a root beer, a cherry cola. Slam a hoagie to the face. It's a beautiful day out in the summer. You, you make a couple of these, you throw them in your backpack, go down to the beach and, and open up a, a bag full of these hoagies, a couple subs. Everyone's gonna be hanging out. Who's this guy? Is that a sub shop? No, that's somebody that is prepared, that has read the greatest culinary novella of all time. Matty Matheson's Homestyle Cookery. This is it. You know, make sure you pre-order Homestyle Cookery, the greatest culinary cookbook in the world. Hopefully people are seeing this in Toronto, gonna start making some good sandwiches. I love you guys. I'm out.